Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about the 8.6 blackout. What it is and why you should maybe consider it for your next AR308 build. So the 8.6 blackout is a cartridge that was developed by Q. And it is basically, um, for all intents and purposes, it's a 338 that sits on top of a 6.5 Creedmoor case, uh, which is pretty cool if you, uh, to kind of put it into perspective here, think of it as the big brother to the 300 Blackout. The 300 Blackout is in your AR-15 platform, of course, the 8.6 being in the AR-308 platform. So what that means is that just like the 300 Blackout, it is a really good cartridge to shoot subsonic and out of shorter barrels. So if that's something you're looking to do with your large frame AR, then that's definitely the caliber for you. So this particular gun right here, I'll just kind of go over real quick. This is one that I built specifically for 8.6 blackout. Even though you can actually take any of your AR-308s and convert them to this caliber really easy. And again, comparing it to 300 blackout, in the AR-15, all you need to convert that 300 blackout is a barrel and muzzle device, and then you have a completely new caliber. Same thing with this. All you need is the barrel and muzzle device, and then you have 8.6 blackout. So converting previous firearms uh, is super easy. Uh, this cartridge is, of course, available in bolt actions as well. But this firearm right here, uh, built it on an aero precision frame, because if you're gonna build a 308 AR, aero precision is the perfect foundation to do so. Um, it, it doesn't get much easier uh, than working with aero stuff. And of course, with handguards, even though Arrow makes good handguards, you know I'm a big fan of Midwest Industries, so had to go with them there for that. And if this is a, a combination you're looking to do, just know that uh, whenever you're dealing with AR-308s, there's two profiles of handguards and receivers, and you gotta match those up or your top rail is not gonna align. So Arrow Precision uses a high profile, which basically just means if you look at this area back here, uh, the thickness of that tenon that comes over the charging handle, so basically how high the rail sits above the actual body of the receiver is what we're looking at here. Uh, so you need to get a handguard to match that. If we were to get a low one, this rail would sit significantly lower than the actual receiver. And then moving on from there, of course, we use the Faxon barrel and Faxon muzzle device. Uh, they're making excellent, excellent barrels for the 8.6 Blackout right now. All right, and you know, I'll kind of, I'll save some more details of the build um, for whenever we, we get some ammo loaded up and uh, take it to the range, and then we'll go from there. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. If you would like to see a video on actually converting your AR-308 to uh, 8.6 Blackout, or if you want to see a video on how to convert 6.5 Creedmoor Brass, let us know in the comments down below and we'll see if we can make that happen. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And for the future videos on the 8.6 Blackout, make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.